Alright, this is the last layout for tonight. Alright, so what I did for this layout is uh, I took and I put Mod Podge over the top of this uh, cardstock. And then I took um, acrylic uh, paint and I painted. Actually, what I did is my paper layers are actually Mod Podge. So that pink and the craft, those are all Mod Podged on. That's why I put Mod Podge on it. That's right. So I put those, glued those down, and then I took Mod Podge and I put that all over it. And then I took acrylic paint and I painted and did splatters. And that's how I did this. And this is the a sunset at my dad's farm that was taken many moons ago. <laughs> I actually took this off of an old scrapbook page. And my paper layers are uh, the craft. is eight and a half by seven and uh, pink is eight and a quarter and this aqua word is And I'm not sure how far down it goes. I can't quite see. I have so many layers. <laughs> and so all of the project, all the cards are, all the embellishments are from the kit except for the Iowa Sunset are uh, figures from my stash. And then I have a card. Mm, the 12, the card that says 12, the journaling card, that's what I'm going to use for journaling. That is, I'm not sure where I got that from. It's got to be like a, I don't know where I got it from. And then I just try to use up little embellishments um, that I had still left over. And I cut the that yellow banner that says fun. That's from the leftover piece from the previous layout where I cut fun. And on the reverse side there was fun. Also, so I cut that into a banner. I really like how this layout turned out. I might have to do and not try another one like this. I've gotten obsessed with making my own background. Paper's doing more. Uh, which is good.
So I'm just working on my earrings still. <laughs> that part always takes me a little while. And you see that blue container, that is baby powder. And then I just bought a cheap cosmetic brush to put over the stickers to take the stickiness away. Um, uh, what is her name? Nicole Jones 911. She had made the comment that she has one of those brush tools that has the powder in it. And she made the comment that it smells like baby powder. She goes, well, it kind of has a smell like baby powder. And I thought, huh, you know, I wonder. And it works great. And so that's just a 99 cent soap dish that I bought at the, where you can buy all the travel size and things to travel. If you're going on a trip, you can buy um, like things to put your toothbrush in and travel size of body soap and, and, and shampoo and conditioner. Over in that area is where I bought that soap dish. I know baby powder was like dollar ninety seven for a big bottle of it. I just squirted it in the blue container and keep that on my desk. I might start doing that. I was just thinking I should do that with my um Typo sticker with my stickers instead of using um, instead of using uh, wax paper. I just add my own adhesive. So I'm just going to title it Iowa Sunset at the Farm, and that's what I keep my scriptastic stuff in. I need to take pictures of this layout as well. And I used, um, I had bought Sweet Disposition in Summertime Fun or Summertime, which is crepe paper kits at Tuesday morning. And so I did a bunch of layouts of those, using those kits. And I didn't do process videos for those, but I did do a layout share video, and I just share all those layouts with you, and a little bit of my process for each one. And so when I get to that video, I will upload it, because it has a dedication page to my dad's dog Lola, who passed away. September, two days after my birthday. My birthday was September 24th. She passed away September 26th. And then two weeks later, I lost my rabbit chat. And now my cat has cancer. So he, I just, she said, just keep him till I know it's time. So <laughs> he's 15 years old, going to be 16. So anyway, so this completes my. completes my layout. So I uh, thank you for watching and when I am more done I'll be back with that. Bye.